I have a confession to make. I am a screenaholic. Some people have troubles with things like too many shoes. I have too many displays. How many? Let's count. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and this is in one room, eleven, and twelve, and over here we have thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Well, let's not count all the iPads and laptops. So many of these displays have multiple functions. Like this one here is the head to my Linux box, but when I'm not using it for that, I have it displaying videos and photos from our collection. I have more information and a video up there. And all these displays, most of them, turn off at night or um, during peak power usage. But the one I want to uh, focus on today is this uh, bedside clock that I brought up from the bedroom to show you. Um, now, there's lots of clock options out there, um, but I like this one. It's not too expensive. It's a $50 Fire tablet. You can get it for less when it's on sale. And I can, it's very flexible on what I can display on it. For I can, my nighttime semi blind state, I can make the font as big as I need. But also, I can send other information from the house. Um, for example, here we have a bedroom. Um, upstairs and outdoor temperatures. That's, that's Alabama today. And the upstairs and downstairs thermostat, current reading, uh, set point, and whether uh, the cooling is on or fan is on. And also we have speech. This is all sent from Node Red and Home Assistant via MQTT. So for example, hey boo boo, where is Bruce? Bruce is at home. Bruce is at home. That gets pushed to the clock, and the latest speech is highlighted here. So let me take you back over to the computer, and I'll quickly show you how this HTML and JavaScript works. So there's not too much to this clock HTML. We have a couple of libraries we pull in, one for MQTT, one for Moment, which helps us format the time and date. And then we just build some boxes for the clock, the speech, and various temperatures and the thermostat. This is what the clock CSS file looks like. So we, here's where we define it's a black and white clock and we pick the font sizes that we want for the various fields. And this is the JavaScript. So here we connect to our MQTT server and down here we subscribe to the various events like when the temperature sensor kicks in or when we have a speech coming in or when the sun event tells us whether it's day or night. Here you can see what we do when we get an MQTT message. For example, when the bedroom temperature is updated, we will update that particular field in the HTML. Home Assistant Node Red will send out a message when the, it gets dark out or when it gets uh, when the sun rises. And based on that, we can pick whether we have a night mode or day mode for the clock. Day mode, we use white text. Night mode, we use kind of a more gray text. It doesn't keep us awake at night. I can demonstrate that here. Here's the node red node where we distinguish day and night. I'll simulate uh, night here on the right. You'll see the clock. And when I say it turns night, by clicking on this simulation, you can see the, uh, the text all turned a little bit more gray. And when back today, we can see it turn white again. So I'll post HTML and JavaScript to Git, um, link below. I just remembered one more display, number 20. This tiny $15 Raspberry Pi display from Adafruit. I'm working on my next project is this, also from Adafruit, is the air quality sensor. So we can do a 
stove-based smoke alarm warning thing. <laughs> Hopefully I can show you that next month.